I just want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Herman Miller. Every great video game has a class that you can pick. The legendary paladin. The mysterious wizard. Hi, I'm George, and I have a boomerang for my class. And since Balloons Tower Defense is the greatest game of all time, it should totally have classes, and that's what the modern Commander Cat has done. So the classes is down here, so you can click on this, and it opens up this awesome UI where it allows you to see all of the different classes and things that you can choose from, which all have pros and cons. So I'm going to be playing through balloons with these pros and cons on these individual classes, trying them all out, and then at the end, I'll kind of rate them and let you know which one is my favorite. The commander class is not working for me. I couldn't get it to work with the ability. So we only have the ethereal, necromancer, and economist. So first, we're going to be going through the economist class. The fiscally responsible economist class makes cash generation and tax evasion insanely easy. See, I know ben this is going to be great for Benjamin. But as a result, some monkeys are less powerful. Oh, so pros. Cash gain from all sources increased by 20%. Holy cow. Gain a free banana farm every 15 rounds. Benjamin's bank hack gets an extra 10% cash. But cons, all towers lose one damage. Oh, that's not good. Minimum one damage. All towers lose two peers. And then all T4 and up towers get 10% slower attack speed. So you make way more money so you can buy more towers, but every all the other towers are really bad. All right, that seems pretty reasonable. During long sessions at the computer, do you find yourself sitting like this? Or like this? Or maybe like this? Not having proper posture during long sessions can lead to back pain and other problems down the line. And that's why today I'm teaming up with Herman Miller to talk about the new epic Vantum gaming chair. I was super excited when Herman Miller reached out to me because I've been a fan of their stuff for a long time. I've personally owned a Herman Miller chair for over a year now and I don't intend of ever swapping it out. So when they reached out to me, I knew they were a high quality brand that I wanted to work with. Herman Miller is one of those brands that you buy once and you have it for the rest of your life and it is a very worthwhile investment. For me, I've always had relatively bad posture and slouched over, especially during the time I was always playing games. The Vantum Gaming Chair is Herman Miller's first ever chair built from the ground up for gamers and it's their first ever chair with a headrest. This is an amazing chair and a very worthwhile investment. You really can't get a better brand of chair and this one in particular is really nice especially for posture i feel that like when i'm sitting in the chair i just easily can sit upright and i can just have long gaming sessions without any worries of slouching over or getting any back pain because when i didn't have that and i didn't have a good solid gaming chair after a few hours of gaming my lower back would start to hurt as all herman miller the phantom comes with a bunch of customizable settings to fit your posture needs as you can see there's settings in the back here to change how it rotates to your spine to make sure it sits right. There's a bunch of different settings around here that you can change. I mean, the armrests, obviously, they move all over the place, up and down, left and right, side to side, north and west, however you want to put it. You can sit it up here, so that way you're sitting completely upright with your legs straight and for a perfect posture alignment. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you go in the description down below, click on the link, head over to Herman Miller, and get yourself a chair today. Thanks, guys. All right, so if we're going to be playing as this guy, we definitely, 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 definitely want to get some DJ Benjamin up in the house. All right, let's see how well this economist class works for us. So let's start with just like a, a base start monkey and just good old, a good old tax shooter there. So he's going to be, wait, he's already so, oh my gosh, they're actually so bad. Oh, having one less damage and one less pierce is brutal. Now, it doesn't really matter for these guys just because they have just one damage. There's no way! Okay. All right. It's definitely hurts. We definitely are way weaker than normal. Having significantly less pierce hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. I'd love to get Benjamin down as quickly as possible. So we're just going to save up money until we can get that. All right. Boom. Benjamin's down. All right. We've... Benjamin is in the house! Yes, yeah, sometimes we do get extra money. So, and we get bonus money at that. So, all money we get is increased by 20%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and get a submarine. So bad. 
They're so bad. All right, are they doing okay? Do I need to get longer range increase? I want to go ahead and get a banana farm down as quickly as possible. And so I also want to get... So I get a free banana farm every 15 rounds. And since we started on round three, we should get a free banana farm at round 18. So if it's a free banana farm every 15 rounds, that's probably, I'd say, around a free, what, four or five thousand dollars? Something around there by the time we get to round 80. Probably actually around six or seven thousand. Okay, let's go ahead and get increased production, greater production. You guys know we gotta get banks. For the economist class to be making tons of money, I definitely want to be going with that. Ooh, okay, balloons are getting by. I need longer range and advanced, advanced intel. That way, now we can actually have a little bit of- I have one little tiny spike right there. He's a little baby spike. Let's just try to save up money and get a bank. So, on the first hand, we already are making 20% extra dollars, right? 20% overall for everything. Bank hack is increased as well. So, we're going to be getting 20% extra as well. I think it's an extra 10 or 15% for bank hack. That's a lot of extra money. Uh, yeah, we're going to be losing some magic lives. But as long as we don't lose all of our magic lives. Ah, that's $4,000. Oh, uh, we're gonna lose lives here, but that's okay. That's okay. I just want to get this bank up and running. Okay, so let's get more attacks, even more attacks. Faster shooting. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. But we got the bank now, so now we should be able to make a ton of money from this. All right, look, get me twin guns. All right, now we're actually we're we're moving. Let's get a ninja. So they're not gonna have tons of damage. I think just buying a bunch of cheap towers is gonna be good. Cause it also said once the towers get past T4s, they shoot 10% slower. Why would I upgrade my tower knowing that it's gonna shoot slower? All right, well we have lead balloons showing up. Oh, look at that free, free banana farm too. Oh, I, I probably got that like such a long time ago and I just didn't pay attention. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. I could have been making so much like extra money. This is already at $6,000. I'm interested to see how much money I make once I pull it out as well. So let's get increased production, greater production, easy collect. No, no, I'm not. I'm getting, I, 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 I got the wrong path. I need to get the bank. All right, 9,000. So if we pull that out, look at that. It pulled it up to like $12,000. So it gave us way more money than normal. All right, that's nice. That's so nice. Let's get another bank then. We're going to be rolling in the money. Oh my gosh. Okay, the economist class is fun. It's, it's kind of, it changes up the pacing of the game. Because all of you make more money, but your towers are weaker. So you get to buy more things. So it, it feels more interactive than normal balloons. So I do like it. It's pretty fun. All right, let's get double shot on this guy. Let's get tax sprayer. Ooh, I actually should have gotten hot shots. I should have gotten ring of fire, I think. I don't know what's better for Pierce and whatnot, but these make money very quickly. Plus we have the bank hack and, and extra money per round. Benjamin's already made us $5,000. I want to see if it tells you if it says 9,500 and how much money we actually make. I'll just buy airburst starts. I'll just, that just seems like a better option. Let's get a sniper monkey. There we go. Faster firing, even faster firing. So I'm going to turn off auto start. I want these banks to, to get full and then I'll spend all my money. Okay, so let's just spend all the money we have. So triple guns. Let's get May Moab. All right, we have $100. And we have another free banana farm. Look at that. Okay, so we have $100. So when I collect all, we should have, or if normally it should be, what? It'll be $28,610. So let's see how much money we have. So, and we grab it, and we ended up having $34,000. It was supposed to be 28, right? So that's an extra $6,000. That's like having a whole nother bank. That's actually, we just get another bank that's full for free. Look how many banks we get to have down now. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it was harder to get started, I'd say. Much more difficult to get started. But now look at, now look at us. It's round 45 and I have eight banks. We're making so much money. And my, my uh, setup here isn't too shabby. Let's get Balloon Jitsu. I kind of want to just get a Super Monkey, right? Super range, epic range, and just get Robo Monkey. Because he'll just be nice to have. He doesn't get extra damage, though, which is a little bit not great. 
having that like having significantly less damage but i i don't think it matters too much and another free banana farm i love free banana farms this is this is great this is actually so good i mean here i can let's just collect all <laughs> and yeah there we go we can just buy the anti-balloon gunner route 80. i mean that is a ridiculous amount of money that was absolutely crazy can we just go ahead and almost we can almost buy a ray of doom too i can just sell these guys all right boom ray of doom and then just boom yeah that was all right well this class makes it really easy now it's time for us to try out the necromancer class the power of the necromancer class gives many abilities one being your fellow necromancers gain the power of sacrifice and the other being the power of strength at the loss of money oh interesting so this is this is this is gonna be much different than the economist so pros azili gets a 50 percent attack speed buff 004 wizard necromancers get double the space in its graveyard prince of darkness get double attack speed and then all evil towers get a small buff but the con is all cash gain is cut by 15 percent obviously we got to choose the galaxy skin all right so right off the bat let's just throw i mean all right all right first first time out if you're playing on this map okay it's it's mandatory to throw down some pontoons mandatory i say oh yeah there we go uh-huh okay perfect there we go now we can get back to business so let's throw azili down so azili should have a 50 percent attack speed buff so she shouldn't be like crazy but she should be pretty good she should be pretty she should attack is that faster is that 50 percent is she does she like attack really slowly I wouldn't be surprised. She's normally not that great of a base of a like a starting hero. All right, let's go ahead and get us a. We definitely want to get a wizard monkey and get the necromancer. It's literally the necromancer class, so it's all based around having the necromancers having their extra strength there. And it is kind of brutal because we have we're going from 20% extra money to negative 15%. So not only are we used to getting more money, it goes back to normal and then goes down. Oh my gosh, we're already losing. All right, intense magic. Let's get fireball and try to get wall of fire. I think wall of fire is just so nice to have. We are gonna have some problem with purple balloons, but luckily we can get our triple dart monkey. And also evil towers get a 10% attack speed buff. So I'm not really sure what classifies as evil, the anti-balloon gunner is the first thing that comes to my mind because that guy's evil. That guy's evil. Also, I'm so glad that they've changed the necromancer so that you can click where you want the balloons to spawn. That is just so nice. I'm doing okay. Maybe we just get a banana farm because I do want to get Prince of Darkness and I do want to try to get some other of these towers. But we also get less money. Wham. I think it's still fine. We're doing okay for right now. Let's, I'm gonna just get a triple shot on this guy and then enhance eyesight. Now we can see camos and we can pop leads. So we don't really have that much of a problem. And now we can start worrying more about getting a banana farm up and running so we can actually just make some money. I've been loving banks. I've been wanting to just use banks all the time recently. I, I remember I used to use banks all the time and then I got cross path and then obviously you just want like cross path things. But when it's time to do challenges and we do things without cross path, banks are way more fun. All right, I need $4,000, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Plus, we have a Moab to deal with in, in 30 and 10 rounds. We need an evil tower. So we need it. What is an evil tower? Okay, Sticky Bomb is definitely evil. That's definitely an evil looking tower. But that's $5,000. And there, there's actually zero possibilities of us getting $5,000. I just want a bank. Can I, can I save up for a bank and then still be able to buy something that goes up against the Moab? I think so. I think we'll be okay. Wall of Fire is such a good upgrade. Wall of Fire is so saucy. What is this? What is... Oh, is that where she puts her totem? That's awesome. All right, so totem that gives camo detection, extra pierce, attack range, attack speed, and projectile speed to nearby monkeys, especially wizard monkeys. So maybe I just get another wizard. I think maybe we just get a arcane spike wizard because it gives bonus attack speed to wizards. So maybe we should just go for that right here. And this is going to be our, I definitely want another wall of fire too, because you, you just can't go wrong with wall of fire. So let's put our wall of fire 
guided. We can put that over here. And then we're going to turn them. Do I get Dragon's Breath? Or Arcane Mastery? We'll see how much money I actually end up having. Dragon's Breath will be enough to deal with a Moab. Arcane Mastery? Uh, yeah, well, let's get, we're going to get, we're going to get Fire Breath. We might not have enough money to have Fire Breath, though. Well, we'll barely have enough. We will barely have enough to deal with it. Okay, so I can collect and Dragon's Breath. Okay, so we can use that, which gives us just bonus attack speed, which we very much so needed. All right, it's round 40, and we don't even have a Necromancer yet. That's how much this negative, this, this cash has hurt. We just have no money. All right, I'm going to get Shimmer now, and now we're going to get Necromancer. And this is where a lot of our bonus is going to come in. Because this is where he, the Necromancer is going to be able to have more attack damage. He gets more attack speed. And then he also gets more balloons to spawn. So he actually gets quite a bonus here. If now we got it. Okay, and so we're going to have it right here. No, I don't want that. So what if I put that there? What if I put this? All right, what if I spawn it here? Okay, that's better. That seems like a pretty good spot to have all of his balloons. Plus, it, so his graveyard's supposed to be... A thousand? I don't know what's the normal, the normal, but he has a thousand, which is pretty crazy. We're going to want to get more Necromancers, I think. Uh, how's our bank doing? Oh my gosh, our bank has no money in it. Our bank has absolutely no money in it whatsoever. I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I put bigger radius, is he in? Yes, he is. MIB is so expensive, though. There's no way I can afford that. I'm just going to get another monkey bank. And even that just took all of my money. This is definitely a class that takes a little bit more oomph to get up and going, right? This class is takes a little bit of time to really get to get moving because it's so difficult to get money to get started, to get set up and get your necromancers going. But once you do, these guys are crazy. He has 18,000 pops. So let's go ahead. Let's just get another one. Boom. And necromancer. And he attacks really fast, actually. Let's try Arcane Blast on this one. Okay, now we got more balloons spawning. Oh, yeah, now we have balloons going both ways, and they're crossed. Oh, and they both have a 1,000 balloons. So now they're going to both be spawning tough all the time. I'm actually down to sell this Wizard Monkey now, because Azili also attacks pretty fast. She only has 2,000 pops, which is not ideal. So I want... This guy's going to be my Prince of Darkness, which we need $28,000 for. That we can do. That shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so get ready. We're going to have to get that Moab Hex up and running soon. I don't know if these guys alone will be able to do, deal with it. I'm going to actually collect all, sell, sell, and then upgrade this guy to Prince of Darkness. I think that's uh, like a necessary... Okay, Moab Hex. He's attacking really fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was kind of gnarly. This guy is really good. Plus, he gives these guys more... I think we just want more. I think we just want more necromancers. Now that we got these, these guys are indestructible. And definitely want fireball in this one. Just because it gives him a cool, like, red trim on his hood. That looks way, way better. I like the red trim. I don't like when his hood turns red as much. Like, the black-red trim combo, so nice. And this is the necromancer class, which absolutely takes a little bit of time to get set up. But once you're there, it's absolutely devastating. Let's see what it is versus round 80. And then we can use Moab Hex on it. Azili's putting in the work. Having the bonus attack speed on Azili is nice. Yeah, that's absolutely nasty. Necromancer class, super good. Definitely a little bit more difficult in the beginning. And for the last class, it's time for us to check out Ethereal. From back in the days, the ghostly Ethereal class turns all monkeys into spooky, scary ghosts, allowing towers to see through walls. But beware, your hearts are even more fragile than before. So pros, all towers can see through walls. Nasty. Camel balloons are visible by all monkeys. Amazing. All towers get a small buff and attack range. Super good. Cons. Life loss from all sources are doubled. Losing lives make all towers lose 5% attack speed. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is we got to play moon landing, right? All right, so apparently they can just see through walls. So let's see. Oh my gosh, they can't. Wait, long range? Oh my gosh. He literally can just shoot through walls? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, but losing lives is bad news bears. So, wait, can we just get a sniper? And the sniper can just shoot through walls too, right? Oh my goodness, look at that. I wonder what's better. 
with if I wanted to get bouncing bullet, you know? Bouncing bullet seems like it would be really good. So we can grab a Dora. Does she get more range? She will definitely get range. And luckily she can hit balloons right there. So, and then she can just do this and then she can hit balloons in all the radiuses. So that's gonna be more than fine. The only thing is we just can't lose lives. That's it. We get a more attack range. We just can't get hit by, we just can't lose lives because all balloons are doubled. So we'll lose lives crazy fast. And then if we lose lives at all, I mean, we lose attack speed. This would be a class you use on chimps. Hands down. Hands down. You want to play chimps, you use this class. Because if you lose a life anyways, it's over. So it just gives you more attack range and you can just shoot through walls and stuff. So it definitely just gives you a huge bonus. Wait, having a darling gunner shoot right in the middle of this is going to be crazy. We don't need anything right now, so let's just go ahead and just start and getting some money. I think we can just spawn camp them because they just sit here and they just go around in a circle. Literally just go in a circle right there. So we can definitely take advantage of that. I was kind of worried about the camo balloons, but I forgot all monkeys inherently just have camo detection now. That's insane. Oh, 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 are we okay here? Let's get a shrapnel shot, faster firing. All right, and then we use, okay, whoo. That was a little worrisome. The purple balloons kind of snuck up on me there, not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna have to go up against lead balloons, but I'm not worried because we got a Dora, and Dora just, like, annihilates lead balloons. There we go. We can just use her ability. Look, she has range over the whole map. That's insane. This makes this map crazy easy. Here, wait. We can just put a boomerang right here. And look at that, and now we can get... I think getting the, uh, the uh, fast attack guy... Is gonna be really nice. Well, if we get if we get red hot rings, now we can hit every single type of balloon. And now we can just get bionic boomerang. And now we're just look at that. We'll just get bionic boomerang. Yeah, that's the play. And look at that. Oh yeah. Now nothing can even spawn. There we go. And anything that goes in there, he just slaps around. That's so good. I think the the sniper is probably what's the most overpowered on this. The sniper gets absolutely dummy overpowered sniper monkey becomes just absolutely cracked nothing can stop him now wall literally the old sniper monkey's only weakness is walls that's his only weakness are walls you don't have any uh oh do we need okay no we're good do i want i kind of want bouncing bullet i want to see which sniper is better that's going to be a little test we do i want to put down two snipers and I want to see which cross path's better. So I need, I want to do bouncing bullet large caliber and then, oh, but supply drop and increases shrapnel power. Yeah, I want to get some, some big money first. So, and then well, this guy only has 5,000 pops. So if we put down another one and we will be able to see, we will be able to notice the difference. Well, while this guy's getting pops, let's just put down another one. Cause I don't want this guy to get too, too crazy. Too, too out of hand too fast. Let's see. Yeah, he's already at 6,000 pops. My goodness. And this is the boomerang monkey is just destroying him. All right, cash drop. Ooh, a whole $1,200. Don't mind if I do. And I'm just going to collect all so I can get the supply drop. All right, so this guy has 8,000. This guy has 500. So the list, there's about an that much difference so there's about an 8,000 difference right now at the start so let's see if that changes at all and see i want to see which one is better for the cross path i feel that large caliber is better but we will find out and then i want to sell this boomerang monkey because i want to see these guys really i want to see him put in the work we can just get i don't think it really matters wait what happens if you get a juggernaut okay he can still shoot but the juggernaut ball just bounces off so this guy just became completely worthless because I bought it. Plasma Accelerator also, so Dartling Gunner also doesn't work with that. We can just get Recursive Clusters and it's just the Doom Zone in there. The absolute Doom Zone. All right, so this guy has 10,000 pops. This guy is 19. So the even faster firing guy is actually pulling away. He's actually, he's getting more pops now. I don't know if he's gonna scale in the end, but He's definitely pulling a pulling a pulling ahead because he does look at how fast he shoots. He shoots big fast. He shoots big 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 fast. All right. Wait. We can also. Oh, I forgot. We can just literally get a glue gunner. We can literally just get a glue gunner, and we can just put the glue guy in here, and then we can just get. Uh, 
Do I want corrosive glue? I kind of want to just get relentless glue with bigger globs and glue splatter. And that everything just naturally has camo detection. This class is definitely the most broken, the most strong, hands down. Nothing can even go anywhere anymore. Yeah. This class is absolutely broken with almost no cons. Like the only con is just don't don't lose lives, but you're not gonna lose lives because of how broken the class is anyways. We're just spawn camping them. I mean, bomb shoot, literally, you, literally all you need to do with this class is just spam recursive cluster heavy bombs. You see camo balloons? You can pop everything. You pop, you can actually just pop everything. Having natural camo detection changes it on everything. That alone, that alone, the fact that everything just inherently has camo detection makes this class the, the, absolutely so, so broken. I mean, there is absolutely nothing that these balloons are going to be able to do. About, especially this map. This map makes it a comical, like completely comical. I mean, there's nothing that any of these guys are going to be able to do. We can just like absorb this guy. There we go. That guy had 40,000 pops. So the even faster fire and cross path seem to be better. But that's where we're going to end off this video. Huge shout out to Commander Cat for making this mod. Thanks for watching, guys.